Hey guys and welcome to Garage Gamer Plays Spider-Man um, Shattered Dimensions. Now, is this is it? I've finally started making this video about Spider-Man. I've done a lot of the videos saying that I will do it, and here it is finally. Now, firstly, it's great to actually play a game that doesn't involve pretty much. Um, strategy game. This is pretty good because I do like beat em up games and I might do a few more in the future. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing a video with my brother as we play uh, one of the classics in main. I think we're going to do Final Fight Guy but we'll see. Um, so at the moment let's talk about Spider-Man. First up I'm talking about Spider-Man 2099. Now, if you grew up in the 90s, you would remember him and you would love him. Basically, when Marvel did a reboot of the 29, uh, well, 2099 series, we have Spider-2099. Instead of Peter Parker, we have Miguel O'Hara. I love this part um, because I think that the actual gameplay is actually quite good. The camera is bad and I'll talk about it later on. But, having said that, I do love this part of um, the game where you play 2099 because it's just enemy after enemy um, attacking you and basically you trying to um, hit and thing. Now, one thing I would like to mention is I'm already using the trainer here, which I'll talk about later. Um, unlike the other trainers, uh, cheat happens only use about four, which frankly is actually quite worth it. Now, first thing I want to say about this game is the graphics are just stunning as you can see. It's just beautiful. I think, you know, if you're ever going to get one of those games, and I am going to try and get Deadpool later on, um, I think you should get Spider-Man um, Shattered Dimensions. I think it's one of the better ones out there. It's not as graphic intensive, uh, so it won't actually hurt your video card, but I think you know, it's still pretty decent. And for a game that actually came out, I believe, a few years old already, it's just visually stunning. I think anybody that actually read the comics Spider-Verse would actually love this game, just because, you know, dimension hopping. Now, one of the things that I really like about it is, even though it's a beat-em-up beat game, you get to um, play four different um, Spider-Man, or Spider-Men, I guess, one of them is Miguel O'Hara, as I said, Spider-Man 2099. Now, what I really like about this guy is the fact that, you know, he can actually play and actually, you know, go through the futuristic world of 2099. Each one actually uses a different style, even though it's all beating him up, it, even though it's all about, you know, shooting and hurting the next person. Each one actually attacks differently, so once again, you get to play four different people, Miguel O'Hara, Ultimate Symbiote, Spider-Man. Um, now, here's what I'm talking about with cheats happen. You only get the four different types. I really think you only need three. The freeze timer is probably the best and unlimited health. Um, the freeze timer will actually help you with timed um, attacks, Some, um, like this one you do get to use unlimited um, effects as well so I think the best one to actually play with is to make sure you have them on you can actually get the spider tokens but I don't know as I said before I like using trainers to play with and cheat but I don't want to overpower myself too much sometimes I do actually want to play and because of the spider tokens you know you don't really want to get everything all at once now here's one of the tips these guys are annoying. Try to get to the back of them and don't corner them because otherwise you will not get to kill them. Um, one of the better things I want to try and say is actually 
just enjoy this game make sure you have unlimited health have a look at all of the different sites uh, there is one spider-man that I really didn't like but that's just because I like to go all out brawl and just basically hurt and attack as you can see <laughs> I love using this attack and I just love using the main guy and you know just going all at it I like 2099 because you can kind of slow down time so you can actually look around you and actually see what's happening you don't have to worry about trying to you know get around getting swamped and all of that because you kind of have time um, one of the other things I like using with 2099 is not so much the web shooter I find that that one is a lot better for the original spider-man which you do get to play Spider-Man Noir, or Noir, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, I don't like, um, not because it's not visually stunning, I'll talk about him about later on, and I'll talk to you guys about why I don't like using him. I just love to attack and all of that. So if anybody wanna read Spider-Verse and all of that, I really recommend having it, just because, like for me, I love anything to do with the multiverse or having parallel world I just think that that's actually quite cool and this does not disappoint having a good storyline I think is really good I mean for a comic wise you don't expect it to have something as big as Bioware's uh, Mass Effect or um, Dragon Age in depth and all of that it's still pretty cool the other thing I want to mention about this game is it's pretty good as a console game and as a PC game as well I guess but I would say use a controller if you have it using your mouse and keyboard can be quite annoying and uh, as you've seen at the past already um, just that the camera angles can be very awkward so you really have to actually do a lot of work trying to get that camera in just the right place in just the right time because otherwise it's just so annoying now one of the things I want to mention the good thing about this one is you get what we call uh, the web of destiny as you can see sorry about that um, the web of destiny what I find really quite good with that one is it's actually just a bit of a challenge so you get a lot more um, a lot more rewards a lot more things to actually uh, have a look at this it's a very short game um, the replayability of it is quite good if you can actually get all of the um, if you can actually get all the achievements all of the upgrades as you can see here each of those upgrades you can actually get only after you've gotten enough of the spider tokens and also if you've completed a certain amount of challenges you can't actually unlock all of them unless you've done the challenges so yeah as you can see here you can you only can do it after 180 challenges um, but otherwise it's not that hard some of those challenges so I really recommend just having fun with it as I said if you are a completionist with a trainer you can actually get it a bit more quickly however I also recommend making sure that you know just have fun with it and it's like a console game as I said you can actually just put it down forget about it and then um, play it again you know after a few months it's not that hard to actually get into um, one of the things that I would probably say you um, it's a bit harder is trying to get a hold of spider-man noir now the reason why I say this is I find spider-man noir more of a stealth game so if you played let's say Batman um, Asylum and all of that you could probably play it because it requires a lot of stealth Dishonored is one of those other games, but otherwise You know it gets really quite annoying especially if you get um, caught it gets really quite Hard to actually maneuver sometimes and the camera angles can really really um, Stuff you off now one of the things I really like about this is you get those cool different statues so you can actually have a look at it more if you just want to have a look at um, again it's all locked you have to actually play all of the different challenges all of the different things to actually get it unlocked um, even I don't, haven't done that yet I must admit but otherwise you know have a play of it 
have a look at it especially when you get the actual um, different costumes I actually love having to read those backstories and all of that just because although I've been reading a lot of comics in the past I haven't actually had um, the time to actually read all of them so having find a tidbit here and there uh, an easter egg it's really quite cool and actually having to use that one um, when you're playing it's, a, it's actually quite nice so <laughs> let's have a look at what we're going to do next here now no I won't quit um, let's have a look hmm let's try spider-man ultimate now ultimate spider-man is probably one of the better ones to use on top of 2099 I like 2099 because you get to actually fly around there's a lot of you know um, going around dodging um, dodging attacks and so on uh, while you're flying around in the air while as um, symbiote spider-man it's just all out brawl and if you've ever read the comics <laughs> I must say spider-man with the black um, suit or the symbiote really cool and I just love how he uses his powers as we can see here you have what we call rage mode so basically all you do is go into a rampage and now if you think that you get a lot of enemies in uh, when you're playing 2099 you have nothing against um, you have seen nothing except um, when you're playing this part of the game with carnage because you get so many people attacking you and all of those zombie soldier kind of thing it's really quite cool you get hordes upon hordes just basically attacking you non-stop um, there are still down um, downsides on the trainer we'll have a um, bit of a look at that especially in this stage um, you can uh, what I've actually found with this game is the longer you use the trainer and as, um, the more you actually progress through it you will actually get a lot more um, glitches now some of the, those glitches are minor so it's not really that hard not really that um, you know not really a game breaker kind of thing um, you might get missing sprites from time to time um, which you know sometimes it's a get, it gets annoying but otherwise it's not bad there are certain things that are game breaking though and you actually but the good thing with this one is you can uh, just restart it um, most of the time you can actually just restart from an old autosave that's one of the things I don't like about this game as well the autosave feature can sometimes be a bit annoying um, the fact that you can't actually manually save it you actually have to go back to the last checkpoint for it so if you progress through the story and you encounter the glitch tough luck you have to do it again which isn't so bad I would say because as I said the glitches are not too bad and most are not game breaking I have found a few in Spider 2099 and I have found a few with Symbiote Spider-Man I think the main one that doesn't seem to have any problems are um, the original Spider-Man Spider-Man Noir that's another one that I one of the things that I thought I was actually going to quit was because one of the games that um, you use with Vulture actually stops you off you can't actually progress unless you get back and um, it is a well-known glitch you can look it up in the internet and you'll find that that's actually one of the things that happen um, thankfully though it doesn't happen often enough and you do actually get to actually play it I guess um, as long as you actually don't um, progress too far just go back to the one before the last checkpoint and you should be able to do it um, unfortunately though that part of the game is quite I guess annoying oh no sorry it's not the vulture it's actually green goblin my apologies um, that's the one so just be careful especially when you actually get to the carnival stage that's where I find a lot of the things um, can go wrong now the other thing I would like to mention is it's not really so much linear because you do actually collect time fragments so you can actually play Spider-Man Noir or um, Spider-Man 2099 any at any point as long as you don't progress too much um, and you can just use either one of them replay it over and over again so you do have a choice on actually um, 
playing which part of the game you want to use. Now, the only thing that I would I would suggest though, and that's just because I'm a purist, I just play Spider-Man first, and then I just progress it piece by piece. But I mean, as I said, you can choose whichever one you want. Um, I just wanted to play Spider-Man Noir just to get it over and done with, just because it's awkward. It's the game lighting's not that good because it's all dark, so you know sometimes it can get really quite annoying um, to look at where what's happening, and especially when you get the spotlight. Um, enemies automatic uh, automatically attack you, or they just you know they're just not responsive at all, or you have to go and do it again through the checkpoint. Now, here we go. One of these parts now we're close by to one of the game breaking. Um, glitches that I find basically when you get grabbed by an enemy even though you've actually attacked them um, it actually either won't trigger the cutscene or let's have a look hold on let's wait for it you can as you can see about the camera angles it gets, it gets really rough All right. But when you do trigger them, it's really quite cool. Um, those camera um, mini cutscenes. <laughs> you do it all night. <laughs> all right. So let's do this. Come on. Yeah, you can attack them all at once actually, then that's pretty cool, especially when you're getting swarmed by uh, hordes. Really cool just to let that attack go and basically all of it just gets it. All of them gets attacked. Now, at this scene, there we go. That's one of the game breaking. No matter what you do, you cannot get out of it because basically the character attacks you and grabs onto you. Now, even though you've killed it, you can't do anything and all you ha can do is just restart it. Huh, alright. So, I wouldn't go too far with Spider-Man Original, even though it's one of my better ones. It's just basically um, Spider-Man 2099 and Ultimate Spider-Man, except without the power-ups. All you can do is the Spider-Sense, which I find really quite cool, but otherwise it's pretty much that's it. Now, one of the other things I want to mention is this thing when you're fighting a boss battle, it uses a lot of quick time and sometimes it can get really quite um, tedious when you're doing it. Alright, let's do Spider-Man um, Spider Noir. See, this is what I'm talking about when it's dark. It just gives you that whole Batman um, Asylum kind of game. So, it's basically dark, brooding and I just find that you know, it's pretty much better off with Spider-Man. Also, um, sorry, with Batman. Also, one of the other things I'm really quite annoyed with is looking at, um, what do you call that? Looking at this and having to wait before you have to attack. And even that point, you can't actually attack, see? It's really hard to actually get into one of those ledges. And even though I've already finished the game, clocked it, you know, I still don't know how to actually go from one ledge to the other. I, it's just pretty much a fluke that I actually got through this um, because it's really quite annoying. And it, no matter what you do, you always get attacked by uh, Mysterio. So, yeah, it's. I wouldn't really recommend playing it unless you have a lot of patience because you really just have to kind of uh, make sure you think about where you're going, plan it out. And on top of this one, you really have to actually look at where the um, emblems are as well just to make sure that you actually get the upgrade so you know playing Spider-Man um, Noir I wouldn't really recommend as much um, one of the things I would say though is and here we go we're now with um, Spider-Man normal as you can see it's just pretty much normal Spider-Man um, really fun quips really fun jokes I really find them really quite interesting and quite funny at times especially when you're fighting hordes and hordes of things um, but otherwise yeah so that's it for me with Spider-Man Shattered Dimension sorry guys it took so long but as you can see it's a fairly tedious game especially when you're playing Spider-Man Noir I really hate that guy but otherwise I hope you like this video um, and yeah just tell me your comments and thoughts about this please like and subscribe my page and yeah just 
let's see how we go. See ya. Bye.